Jimbo ndio tuamini uko kila uko kila mahali umefikia Aziad Utidinya kila mwanaume my friend we know you have a job we know Aziad fika kwa leo za kina Elsa Majimbo tukuamini wewe ndio OG wa TikTok my friend I told you I'm the OG of TikTok Fika kwa fika kwa leo za Elsa Majimbo it's simple as that fika kwa leo za Elsa Majimbo ndio kuja hapo tu address Fika kwa leo za Elsa Majimbo ama kwa leo za kina Rono Nonsense Una jona mfika oh I have a guy. what the fuck what the fuck are you Kama sio kama yako na dinyo na kila mtu I I I I I insulted her online So she reported talk to the officers and then they can explain All I was requesting is for you to ask Hello guys, it's Mungai Eve. Welcome to the Mungai Eve show. And of course, you're the number one online TV show. And guys, we are right here uh, near Wilson Airport. Uh, we, I'm with, I know Mnashanga, Uni Nani. I'm with Gertrude. Uh, she's a lawyer. She's representing Aziad. Uh, right now, to kwa hapo ndani kwa police station. I'm sure most of you mnajua story ambayo yumekwe kitembea sana kwa mtandao about uh, Brian Chira. Aliweza kuweka ujumbe hapa online. And it seems uh, Aziad's team is not happy. Happy. Anyway, Gertrude, yes. ukwaje? Niko poa? Mm -hmm. Yes. As we speak, uh, tumiona chira amengia pale ndani. All the way from Nakuru, yes. amende wa pale, na sayi yuko pale ndani. Maybe you can let us know what exactly happened kwa mtu ambaye hajui. Okay. Um, for the, like, sometime last week, uh, chira went live on TikTok at night. And uh, from the live, uh, the, I think the topic was Aziad. And um, he uttered some words, which I cannot repeat here, yeah, in this forum. Uh, but those words are very defamatory. And he did not stop there. He also went ahead and gave out her number. So my client on her part, she has been for the past week uh, being buzzed with a lot of calls, a lot of messages, some which are actually insults and the same uh, because of that. So. My client was not happy, and uh, since we have a computer misuse and cybercrime act, she chose to pursue the matter in the legal manner. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we've engaged the relevant legal uh, institutions, that is the police and also the Directorate of Criminal Investigations. Mm -hmm. They are on top of the matter, and yes, that's why we are here today. Okay. He was arrested today. So he ha uh, he's just... He just got arrested uh, to Memuata Palenda and of course right now is around I think 8.30 p.m. meaning at uh, spend the night there. I'd like to know what is the way forward? Okay, right now uh, he has just been arrested so it's now under the investigating officer. The investigating officer has now the duty to take the next step and the next step now involves now charging him before a court of law. So he'll prepare the charge sheet present it to the office of the director of public prosecutions once it's approved it goes to court and in court is where he will take a plea to plead guilty or not mm -hmm. and he has, at the moment he has his right uh, of bail he can apply for police bo police bail or bond and also in court he can still apply for the same so his rights are guaranteed and no one will deny him that but now it has to follow the legal process